This is a set of Elixir acoustic guitar strings and hands down my favourite acoustic guitar strings of all time. Except it's not these, because these are fake. We live in a world where you can get fake sunglasses, fake watches, a fake body, even on news is fake. But guitar strings? Why even go through the hassle of making a set of fake guitar strings? Where there's money to be had, you're gonna get fakes. And these are fake. And these are not fake. Can you tell the difference? I'm gonna show you how you can. When I actually hold these two up, real close to you there, if it would want, if it would like to get in focus, it might struggle a little bit, there you go. It's, um, it's not the easiest task to tell the difference between these two and which one is fake and which one is real. You could say that this one here is slightly darker in color than this one here, but you could always put that down to maybe the ink in the printer. But there are a couple of very subtle differences between these two boxes. Now I'm saying this because if you was to buy a set of these from your music shop, and you've got a chance to hold them in your hands and look at them before you purchase them because Elixir aren't the cheapest of guitar strings out there, that's for sure. So do you really want to drop 15, 20 quid on a packet of guitar strings that really should cost you a fiver maximum? So let's take a closer look at the packaging to see if we can spot the difference. You will notice that on the genuine ones, the center of the logo, in other words, the black circle area compared to the silver outer circle, is slightly raised than the outer edge. So you get this slight highlight, almost like a thin silver band that goes round that is higher than the rest and therefore it reflects the light different and makes it look like you've got the silver circle, then a smaller circle, and then it goes into the main black logo. Whereas on the fake ones, the sticker on the back is just flat. It's just a completely flat sticker but also down the center here where it meets the flap of the box on the original one the line there is perforated so it's going to be nice and easy to open that on this one there's nothing it's just a sticker put over the flap to hold it down and that's it it's very very slight you've got to look very closely but you can see that it is definitely perforated down that center line there and this is the problem because like i say you know if you haven't got a fake set in your hand and an original set in your hand, it's going to be really hard to tell the difference between the two. I've only ever had this experience when buying them online. So hopefully, you know, your music shop is, is staying true and, and doing their best to give you genuine gear. And even if they didn't, I'm sure that it would probably be a mistake and they'd be more than happy to sort it out if you pointed these things out to them. Now, I will say on Phil, they feel a lot different. You can probably even hear the difference in the boxes. So this is the fake box. It's got like a, it's not a complete gloss finish. It is slightly matte compared to the orange band that goes down the side. But when you touch it, it's not really making much of a noise. Whereas when I touch the genuine ones, there is definitely a matty feel to it it feels more slightly rough i suppose you would say but let's crack these open and see if there's any more clues um, as to the difference between these two sets of strings opening these two flaps now we can see that there is another difference between the two on the fake set on this slit in the back of the box we can see that on either end it's more of a circular punch hole at either end Whereas on the genuine set, number one, it's closed a lot tighter, so there's no air getting in there, which is a good thing because you don't want them to start oxidizing before you even get them out of the packet. And second of all, on either end, it's more of a hook shape rather than the circle shape that appears on the fake box. So just as we begin to open these two packets, we're starting to unravel a few more clues as to which one is the fake and which one is not the fake. But again, like I say, in a music shop, you know, what are you going to do? Say, can I open these to make sure they're not fake? On the writing, we've got a thick drop shadow, I would call that, or a black outline on all the writing here. 
and we haven't got that on the writing on the fake set same thing again with the mind you saying that the texture on this but you can you can hear again it's just there isn't that that nice feeling texture on the the inside of the packets much like the outside of the packets also the font here on this this smaller writing it's a lot smaller in, when you compare it to the the writing on the genuine set but let's take one of these sleeves out and see if we can notice a difference in just the sleeve on the original ones the folds for the sides of the sleeve are actually glued on the outside of the sleeve whereas the folds on the fake ones are actually glued on the inside of the sleeve so let's take a look at the string itself shall we we're going to have a look at the um the low e string so a side by side comparison they're both even wound to like on a very similar size scale there is a slight difference in coloration on the two but that could be because of the different material the fact that these are supposed to be foster bronze and these ones are supposed to be 80 20 but i'll be honest with you i've never seen an, a set that's quite so orange as that when it comes to elixir strings compared to that it's going to be hard for you guys to see if i unravel these now you will notice there is a big difference between the two sets and that is easy to see even to the untrained eye but the original set has got a section that is completely unwound so you've got the core of the string exposed here and on the fake set it's wound all the way up there's no core exposed whatsoever there and the length also on the two strings is vastly different so as you can see there they are both matched up to my finger it's going to be hard for you to see on the camera there but there you go they are both touching my finger so i'll pinch that and then i will come down here till we get to the end and there you go that's the difference in the lengths so this is the ball end of the fake string this is the ball end of the original but again these are all things that you're not going to know until you crack open your, your set you know what i mean these are things that are impossible to see in a music shop but if you've got a set or you've bought a set of elixir thinking these strings are supposed to be great and then you use them and you think oh these strings are absolute garbage i'm not buying them ever again maybe check these things out just to make sure that you've got yourself a genuine set especially if you've bought them online because like i said i mean i've played guitar now for 30 odd years and for at least 15 maybe even 20 years i've used elixirs on my acoustics um for the simple fact is i remember going to music shops picking up some acoustics that weren't you know the top end high end acoustics strumming down them and then picking up one that's a lot cheaper strumming it and thinking the tone on this cheaper one is amazing compared to the tone on this really expensive acoustic and then you find out that it's strung with elixir strings and that is not i am not by any means over exaggerating go into a music shop and play two guitars one that's got elixir strings set up on it one that hasn't got elixir strings set up on it and you'll hear the tone difference massively in comparison especially in a place like a music shop where you've got a lot of people going in there with the grubby hands you know what i mean playing the guitars they're not there cleaning or maintaining the strings very well on these guitars and whatever and um, you will notice the difference massively you'll hear so much more tone from the guitar with elixir strings than you will with the one that hasn't got elixir strings if you buy a set of these because you've heard so much about them and you buy them online and then you string it up and then you know the next day your guitar sounds dead and dull and you think to yourself why did i spend that extra bit of money on getting some elixirs and they're naff maybe this is why but also at the same time another great giveaway on whether or not you're buying a set of elixir strings is in fact the price so this is one of my favorite uk based music shops this is gak um guitars and keyboards this is where i got 
the genuine set from and we can see here the price of a set of elixir strings in, in GAC comes in at 16 pounds 47 which okay is more expensive it is you can get a, ch strings that are a lot cheaper than that you can but if you want strings that are a lot cheaper than that then buy strings that are a lot cheaper than that don't then go on ebay and think that oh i've just found a place that that does elixir strings for a hell of a lot cheaper i'll get them because the quality of the string that you're buying is going to be a lot worse than the cheaper set if that makes sense if you want to buy a cheaper set then buy a cheaper set of strings but buy a brand that you can trust here's a set of fender phosphor bronze strings for six pound you know buy them strings they're made by fender you know they're gonna they've got a reputation and it's you know you're going to be better off getting these than something that you don't know what you've got so it's places like this that become very tempting we have got the elixir 12 to 53s which is the ones that i bought and they're coming in at five pounds 99 a set but not only are they coming in at 5.99 a set but if you buy two sets you get another set free so you are going to get for 12 pound which is less than a price of genuine strings you're going to get three sets cheaper than one set of genuine strings but it's not worth it what's the point you're buying a box honest to god you might honest please just buy a cheaper set buy these for the same price six pound they're out of stock right now so you can't but you know what i'm saying because these you don't know what the hell you're gonna get I mean, even these pictures, there's no way the Elixir are putting up pictures like this on their genuine website. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, what's that? What's this? Why are they doing that? Like, you've got so many, like these ones here, look. These guys haven't even put the logo on the box because they know what's going on. My advice would be to just get it from a music store, a music store that you trust. Whether you go and walk into the store or you get them online from a music store do that but avoid ebay maybe even amazon because you never know as well places like that put your money into a music store and buy your strings from there because you just don't you can't you can't trust them guys don't trust them so the only thing that's left to do now really is to string up my guitar and um try it but like i said i'm gonna string it up i'm gonna leave them on there for a week i'm gonna play them for a good week so we can hear the difference between you know the the fake ones a week later and the the genuine ones a week later so on here right now are the fake elixir strings and i was going to leave it for a week before doing this but um literally the second i took these strings out of the packet you could almost see in front of your very eyes that they were already starting to oxidize they went a lot darker they've got a little bit lighter in patches mainly where i've been playing it um, I will say, before they really broke in, I got this weird squeaky sound that was coming out of the picking hand, um, which was something that I've never experienced before with any kind of string. It was like a weird overtone. It was just squeaking every single time that I would pluck on one of the bronze strings. But um, that seems to have gone now. And it was really loud when you would change chords as well to be honest with you the squeak was outrageous but it's been about i think we're on day four now with these strings and i think that's as far as I'm, i need to take it because they are to me anyway they sound as dead as a door now but we're going to do a side by side comparison now we're going to do some strumming some picking work and some solo work to compare the original elixir strings against the fake elixir strings <laughs>
think that it's safe to say that there is a clear difference between the sound there. Not only that, but they feel completely different as well. The um, the fake strings feel very sticky and rough on the hands. It's quite hard to, to get the notes to ring out and sustain very much, whereas the elixirs are nice and silky and soft, but they have a really nice sustain as well. A lot brighter and they just sound fresher. Just no matter, I could have them strings on there now for the next month and they'd still sound fresher than the the fake strings that have been on there for like four days whether or not it's the sound that you're after you know it might not be the case these are quite nice for strumming and that because of their bright sound finger picking and that that could be a little bit too bright but then you buy the strings according to what you want the sound to be you don't go out and buy a set of elixirs expecting them to be soft and dull and warm you buy them because you want that crisp bright sound that will last longer than a couple of days on the guitar i guess what i'm trying to say is whatever sound you want just be careful out there and make sure that you buy your strings from a music shop that you trust and perhaps if you are looking to spend a little bit more on a set of strings don't go digging around on sites like ebay looking for a killer bargain thinking that that's what you're going to get is a killer bargain because there is a big possibility there that you might not be getting the genuine article. But I hope that this has helped some of you guys out. If you have bought Elixir strings from other places before and thought, oh, this is a cheap price, even if you perhaps have bought them from a guitar store near you and thought to yourself, these are supposed to be long life strings and they just seem to die after a couple of days or after you know a couple of hours even of playing. Why would I pay the extra for them? Perhaps double check next time that you've actually got the genuine article. Now this is just Elixir strings. I don't know if there's other brands of strings out there that get the counterfeit treatment, but I can 100% say that there are definitely fake Elixir strings out in the market. So spend your money wisely. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're feeling extra generous, there's a super thanks button down there for you to help support the channel. But if you don't wanna go down that road, you can always subscribe and leave a comment as well. It would really help the channel out. Until next time, my fret-loving friends, I've been Mark Payne, this be Buzzcut Guitars, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.